Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Keefy 75 Games. I am Keefy, and tonight we are back discussing Sony's discounting PlayStation Plus for PS4 players ahead of PS5. What you guys think about that? And this blog is done by Tyler Fisher, and it was done today at 5:30 Eastern Standard Time. Goes on to say, Sony is discounting PlayStation Plus for PS4 players ahead of the release of the PS5 in an attempt to persuade you users to extend their subscriptions for the next generation of console gaming. However, so far, this offer appears highly selective, or more specifically, only for those who have subscriptions ending imminently. And right before the PS5 drops, of course, PlayStation Plus routinely goes on sale, typically via third-party retailers. But this is a discount coming straight from Sony and may signal that a larger round of discounts from retailers is imminent. So far, it's unclear what the rhyme or reason is behind this discounted offer, but it appears to be for users with subscriptions ending imminently. Further, the offer seemingly confirms PlayStation will not be increasing PlayStation Plus prices for the PS5, because if it was, it wouldn't be pushing discounted rates of its current offer right now. As of the offer itself, 25% off seems consistent, and it looks like it's only available for 3-month and 12-month subscriptions. At the moment, of publishing, Sony has not commented or provided any explanation on the supposed offer, but multiple players are reporting having received emails with said offer enclosed inside. In other words, while it's unclear why the offer is being sent out and seemingly sent out selectively, it's pretty clear that it's a legit offer being extended. And then goes on to say, if Sony does provide any further clarification or comment, we will be sure to make an update to the story with said clarification or comment. However, with similar offers in the past, Sony has opted to keep things vague and inconclusive by not providing any further context or details, and there's no reason to believe this will change now. And then moving on to the second story that I have for you guys tonight is Sony gets price cut ahead of release for some players, and this is also done by Tyler Fisher. And this one goes on to say, the PS5 has got a price cut ahead of its release, but only for some players. PS5 is out in just 8 days. When it releases in North America on November 12th, its price will range between $400 and $500, with the price varying depending on the version of the next-gen PlayStation machine. And these prices are locked in. However, over in Brazil, the console just got cheaper. It's still incredibly expensive in the South American country, but now it's at least a little bit less expensive. In Brazil, the digital PS5 previously cost are $4,499. Now it costs are $4,199. Meanwhile, the standard version of the console with a Blu-ray Ultra HD player has been reduced from our $499.99 to our $469.99. Meanwhile, the camera and controller now also cost less. This price change is not only in effect going forward, but will be applied to all that have already pre-ordered the console in the region. In other words, those in Brazil that have pre-ordered the machine and its accessories are about to get a slight refund. According to the official PlayStation blog for Brazil, these changes come on the back of the Brazilian government reducing taxes for gaming-related electronics. At the time, it was unclear if this would lower the price of gaming products or if Sony and others would absorb it all as extra profit. That said, it looks like it's going to be the case of the former. In addition to Sony cutting back the price of the PS5 in response, Microsoft also recently reduced the price of the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S in Brazil as well. For Brazilians, gaming remains a very expensive hobby. For example, the digital edition of the PS5 is still roughly $800 in Brazil, and in North America, it's $400. That said, a reduction is a reduction, and will certainly be welcomed news. Alright guys, this was just another quick one, just to bring you some quick info on it all. And also guys, let me doubt down in the comments how you guys are making out with your ps4s in the party chat and if you're able to talk with your friends or not because i am not able to talk with any of my friends as of yet everything else seems to be okay i can see my friends online and they can see me but when i went to go invite my son again to invite him to the party chat i'm in it wouldn't let me invite him so sony if you are listening to this there is still some major problems going on with the ps4's party chat system please fix it so all right guys 
with all this being said, please smash the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. And stop on by and check out my son's YouTube channel. His name is Nasty Gamer 7798 His link is also in the description below. Go on and check him out. If you like Fortnite, he's really good at it. So go check him out. I will also leave a link to my Discord channel in the description below along with my Streamlabs merch store. So if you guys want to check either of them out, feel free to do so. You guys enjoy your evening and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Keefy75. Peace. Oh, yeah.